Saint Nicole pursued and nourished his unwavering passion for learning by reading books on great world leaders and popular think tanks. In 2012, he attended the executive education program of John F. Kennedy School of Government in Harvard University. Finished the Emerging Leaders Executive Program also in JFK School of Government. In the same year, he completed the Oxford Strategic Leadership Program at the SAIT Business School, University of Oxford. Mayor Isco received his Doctor of Humanities on Community Development degree from the Bahantasa de Lungsok de Manila in 2014. He studied law at the Arellano University School of Law three years after graduating from the International Academy of Management and Economics with a degree in Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. At bumatali ng kanyang pagpupunyaki, kinawalan siya bilang the most outstanding Filipino in the field of public service award mula sa Gawad American Foundation based in California, USA, and bilang one of the top ten men who matter mula sa People Asia Magazine. Mga kaibigan, para pumunahan ang inyong kasal sa umagang ito, the man who grew up in the slums of Tondo and who is now tasked to rebuild the capital city of the country. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Francisco Isco Moreno Tumagoso, Mayor of the City of Manila. Following a person, act 
Mad Rizaldi P. Moti, Chief Executive Officer of IBIG. Alexander Hilario G. Aguilar, Deputy CEO for Member Services. Attorney Robert John S. Cusico, Acting Deputy CEO for Support. Attorney Marshall C. Pimentel, Jr., Vice President, Legal and General Counsel. Trustee Maria Lore, Lorelei C. Fajardo, Government Employees Representative, and all other officers, and to the Pag-ibig family, palakpakan natin sila. Ako po ay isa sa katulad ninyo. Ako po ay member ng Pag-ibig since 1998. Malaking pensyon na yun. Pag tinodas ko yun, nakukuha ko, malaki-laki rin yun. But uh, having said that, I'm a happy member. A happy member we're in that later on, Later on in our life, after everything said and done, may paghinto sa buhay. In this case, ang ating karera o trabaho, may takdang panahon. At dahil sa kasiguruhan na ipinagkakaloob sa atin ng pag-ibig, ito'y magbibigay sa atin ng kapanatagan. Ganun din ang araw na ito, may paghinto na pagiging binata at dalaga nyo. Hindi na kayo binata, maya-maya. Dalaga, hindi na rin. But today also, nakatutuwa ang isipin, araw ng mga puso. Ang ganun ang pag-ibig ko, kalahin mo itapat nila ng February 14. So, hindi, hindi nyo makakalimutan yung araw ng anniversary nyo. Nakatulad namin ang hirap i-memorize. As you progress with the marriage, no? with all the challenges, personal, mutual, and economical. Oh, naku, ang Diyos ko, magugulat ka na lang. Naku, anniversary pala namin bukas. But today, you will never forget that sa araw ng mga puso, kayo ay pinag-isang dibdib ng pag-ibig. Ang ganda, no? Rhyme na rhyme. Pinag-isang dibdib ng pag-ibig. Pero bago po simulan, handa na pa talaga kayo. Talaga maasin, ha? Handa na ba kayo? Okay. May papaalala lang ako. Bago ko ako simulan nito. Tasa naman yung mga nasa kanda. Ay, nakasal na. O, oh, mga nakasal. Ayan, ha? Itanong nyo sa kanila kung mali ako. Ito yung paalala ko lang. Kami, nakasal na yun. Kayo, hindi pa kayo makakarelate. Totoo, nagsama na kayo. Pero hindi pa kayo nakasama. Mapaalala ko lang, ha? Alam niyo yung kasal. Sa simula lang yan, mahirap. Do you all agree? Yung mga nakasal, ha? Yung mga nakasal, totoo ba na sa simula lang? Habang tumatagal yan, pahirap ng pahirap yan, ha? Ha? Habang tumatagal yan, pahirap ng pahirap yan. I joke lang ako. But somehow it's true. That's why, kailangan ng mirror sa atin, tolerance. Kailangan ng mirror sa atin, understanding. 
si talagang maraming challenges ang pagkakasal. O sige, magsisimula na tayo. Magsipag tayo ang mga kinakasal. Pilipino. 